Hey, this is Brother Jeff with the uh, eLearning Brothers, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk you through how to get started with the new Card Stack Storyline game. And you can find this within the library. Um, now, this is a Storyline template, so all you have to do is download it, double click on it to install it inside of Storyline, and then you can start using it as a template in, uh, throughout all of your courses. But I first of all wanted to walk you through how this interaction worked, and then um, actually how you go in and start filling out your own questions and text like that. So <clears throat> with the card stack interaction, the very first thing I do is go ahead and click on continue. I see some instructions. Um, this is default with all of our different interactions. You have some instructions that you can modify. And then from here, I have I go ahead and hit start and I get my first question. Up on the top left hand side, I have uh, how many questions I have or what question I'm at uh, out of how many questions I still have to answer. And now with this one, I have three, I get three wrong answers. And so if I miss three different times, then the game ends and I have to restart. And then I have my question here and then my points, whatever my points are here. Now I have a bunch of different cards that I can go ahead and just start, you know, moving around if I wanted to, to see which different cards the answers are. Um, and then I can come into uh, any possible choice, go ahead and drop it in this drop zone. Um, the glass slides in, ask me if this is my final answer. Um, I go ahead and hit yes, and then I get correct feedback if it, if it's the correct answer. And then if it's the incorrect answer, I'll show you that on the next one. So now it has question two here. If I go ahead and answer one that's incorrect, it will show the red X real quick. It'll sh uh, highlight the red X up on top saying that I've missed one, and it will reset for me to try again. And so I go ahead and just answer two here. I get it correct, and now I get the correct answer there. Now I could come in here to um, to Storyline, and once I download it, all I have to do is really double click on the uh, the template here. And from within my templates, I just select the Card Stack Interaction Game, and I can do this within any course that I'm in, and go ahead and hit Import. Now what happens is it'll then import that game, all of my interactions, uh, well within my course, wherever my course may be, if I wanted to insert it at any any certain point. It'll import, import that uh, game, and so now at that point, once it's imported, I can go ahead and get started tweaking it, uh, modifying the game as well, which I'll show you how to do that here. All right, so once the game has been imported into your storyline um, interaction, let me go ahead and maximize this. You can double-click on the game itself, and just like all of the other eLearning Brothers games, there's some instructions on the uh, left-hand side that will let you know the different variables that you can change. You'll notice there's three different variables that are bolded. Card stack number of questions, card stack add points per question, and add card stack subtract points per wrong question. And all the variables are stored in the same place inside of uh, Articulate Storyline, and that's you access that by clicking on this X button on the right-hand side. And over here, I can go through, and this one does have a lot of variables. You'll notice that the card, card 10, card 11, card 12, card 13, all of the answers by default are actually stored within a variable. The reason why is the cards are um, on every single question. So instead of having to go through every single question, typing out the different answers and everything, we figured it'd be easier if you just came into the variable section and type out the uh, the answers for the, uh, the what shows on the cards. Now there's not much room on the cards, and so they're really supposed to be short answers, but you can type that in there and it will automatically go to different lines as well. But if I get past the cards, I can come down to where it says card stack add points per right question, and right now it's set at 10 points. Card stack number of questions, right now you can go up to 20, and so uh, we have it set to 20, but you can change that to however many number of questions you want. Um, and then also card stack subtract points per wrong question. So you get 10 points per right question, but then you get 5 points taken away per wrong question. Uh, and then after that, any variable that starts with the letter C, we recommend that you don't touch those. So go ahead and just leave those as they are. Now from here, like all of our other inter uh, storyline interactions, all you do is come through from the uh, bottom of your layers and just go through, start working through uh, the different layers from the bottom to the top typing out the instructions here, the header, also the instruction text, and then coming to question one. <clears throat> now question one, you'll notice all the different cards here, and they have different variables, and that's where we recommend changing it within the variables rather than having to change it within each card. If you want different possible answers for each question, then go ahead and change it per um, card, per question if you wanted to, that just might take a little bit longer. 
Now, the only other thing that you would need to change here is the question header and then the question text. Uh, anything else you really don't need to change here. You can add other images down at the bottom here uh, and whatever else you want at that point. Now, what will happen is you take the card, uh, drop it in the area, the glass will slide down and the learner just hits yes or no, basically. And I can change the text uh, if I wanted to there. But then I can come to question one correct and question one correct will basically just uh, allow me to add whatever correct text I want as well as I can put any image. I would, don't recommend putting anything around here because uh, the rest of question one will be showing around there. Uh, just basically keep within this content area. Now question one <coughs> incorrect basically just shows a red X and then it jumps you back to the uh, other one. Now if you wanted to have it stop here, you would have to add a continue button that would go back to question one and then you would have to remove where it says hide this layer when the timeline ends. And that way you can give uh, incorrect feedback for each individual answer there as well if you wanted to. Now that's pretty much it. You go through the different questions, filling out uh, the question text. You go through the different correct answers, filling out the correct answer for that text uh, or the correct feedback. And then you come up to the results page and you only have to fill out the number of questions that you actually are asking. Uh, but if you come up to the results page, you can go ahead and type in your results. Uh, this will basically only show if they've answered every single question correct without running out of their three X's. And then you can come up to the lost game. Now the lost game will show if um, if basically they, they run out of their X's and they've lost the game. Uh, then you can give them feedback and they can have a play again button. If you don't want there to be a play again button, just go ahead and move that off the stage. Don't uh, do anything else with it. Just move it off the stage and uh, then you're good from there. But that's how you fill out the card stack. Uh, make sure to change the card labels within the variables. And then from there, just start filling out the different question layers and the correct feedback. And that's pretty much it.